Welcome back to good old RVing. I am Greg and I am going to talk you through what's really needed to have a plug and play lithium battery upgrade in your RV. And so uh, this is where we left off last time. And so it's not necessarily solar because this is an upgrade without solar system. Um, last time I was discussing the differences of the battery I ordered and the battery I bought. And I was trying to figure it out because I'm a very visual kind of person and what it looked like I was supposed to get was totally different from what I got physically visually and so um, I had to start making phone calls to figure this out so in my midst of investigation on the Amazon page where I ordered it it said ships from and sold by boat and RV accessories to my knowledge that's exactly what it meant well again I was blindsided and that's not who sold me it. it was actually Amazon who sold me my converter so after communicating them through email they were very helpful in trying to help me get it sorted out and very responsive to my emails and so shout out to uh, Boaten RV accessories very helpful for me thank you um, I got most of it figured out turns out I do have the newest model and um, we'll go over that in this in this video right here okay so what I got so far is a complete system I don't have all the parts yet but I should have them by the end of the week then I'll show you the install but right now I got everything figured out to make it work plug and play don't have to flip any switches or push any buttons to make it work it will charge up the lithium battery the way it's supposed to and it will be controlled by another component which I will talk about in this video okay so let's get started I have right here I have the Victron 712 or <laughs> let me rephrase that well it's a, it's a 712 uh, smart um, battery monitor okay then I have the converter over over here I don't know if you can see that and then I have the battery over here these three things are the main components what you need don't think you're going to do this conversion without spending a few dollars okay the battery i'm just rounding these out to the highest or lowest number so you could probably get them on sale a little cheaper or maybe pay it even a little more okay so just to give you a equivalent answer to what does it cost battery is roughly I'll go with 950. The uh, Victron monitor, battery monitor, we'll just say 200. We'll round it down. And the converter, we'll say 200. Round that down. Now, what you don't see here are all the little things in between that connects and makes them talk to each other so add in the cables the wiring the modules um i'd just say another hundred dollars so just say roughly to convert your oem 12 volt system to a lithium 12 volt system without solar it'll cost you roughly fifteen hundred dollars so if you're thinking about it that's the number to look at um, I still don't have all my answers on the converter 
because of the virus people aren't at work and so there's nobody there to ask the questions to that would know and so I'll find those out later on and when I do find them out I will update this video in the uh, description block and so just so you know that's all just so you know okay so we're gonna start out with the lithium battery right here uh, let me do it like this okay one lithium battery boom 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 battleborn everyone's doing this nowadays for battleborn BB okay 12 volt 100 amp hours all right this is your lithium battery roughly 950 all right that's the rough cost okay now that's the battery now let's go up here to the battery monitor boom this is the Victron B M V 7 12 smart they run about a little over 200 but I'll just say 200 and then we have the converter right here converter and this is a progressive dynamics I'll just put PD because that's the beginning of the model number anyway let's see if I don't tear everything up here PD nine one six zero a l okay so the l right here is for lithium a is for amps 60 is 60 amps okay and pd 91 series okay this runs a little over 200 also Okay, these are all estimates okay nothing's exact um, okay so these are the three main components you need to convert to a lithium battery now how these set up okay so over here you have your circuit panel okay fuse box circuit board whatever you want to call it okay the original one was wired into here grounded and plugged into an AC outlet for a power source okay that's how that one worked okay then your battery also plugs into here, positive and negative. Okay, that's how that one works. Okay, so you're always using battery power and your OEM charger is always maintaining the charge on everything. And of course you have your factory monitor and stuff. Okay, this is gonna change up a little bit. How this is going to change up this will stay the same but this will be different okay I'm just going to do it like that and let's
let's say that this side is negative this side is positive okay what we have here is we're going to be adding a shunt that goes to the battery then this side of the shunt will go to all your loads so in this case we're going to have it go there and we're going to have it go here okay got it now what this does is it has a connector well actually actually this is a little different than that actually I have to look at the instructions actually <laughs> okay this is shut okay now what we do is off the battery the shunt runs off the negative side your battery monitor has like a telephone wire connector that's going to be reading that information now there's a secret that I'm going to let out of the bag but the way that makes this plug and play where you don't have to mess with it is your Victron monitor is going to be talking to your converter that's right so you program your monitor I want that converter to turn on when the voltage of the battery gets to here and I want it to turn off after the voltage reaches 14.6 or whatever okay and so this controls this which controls this and this when this is off the battery goes to the circuit board and so you're literally running your whole RV off the battery not the converter so that's how that's gonna work why do it this way let's see the reason I want to do it this way is because I'll forget in a heartbeat to check the battery for maybe a week and then just take a look at it see what it's doing and by that time it might be too late and the push the button or hit the switch may already be too late I don't know but what I do know is if it stops charging before it continues to throw a charge on that battery then we're running off the battery and we're actually using the battery for what it's made for which is no problem at all what another benefit when I do hook up my solar okay remember this is for this battery and that converter I'm gonna have another Victron monitor for my solar as well okay solar B M V seven one two okay that one will monitor my battery pack for the solar battery pack BP for battery pack so it's going to be like two separate systems the thing is off my inverter we'll just say right here's the inverter I and V it has an option to charge this battery pack and this battery both it's also a Victron 3000 inverter so um, with that said this one is reading the power off this battery oops <laughs> no you don't do it like that not here not here
this inverter is charging this battery there's the battery charges the battery and the other battery and so I can set it to maintain a charge on the battle board off the second charging uh, outlet and therefore as long as this one keeps reading that that's charged this will never be turned on as soon as it's let's say it's a rainy day this will stop charging this battery the battery will come down to the amount that turns this on to say hey time to charge it's gonna shoot back over here okay time to charge then I'll start throwing in a charge off of the AC hookups or generator or anything else and so that's how that one's gonna work okay any comments or questions please leave a comment and so uh, bottom line 1500 fair price to look at if you want to do a plug-and-play um, three major components the smart the BMV 712 smart the lithium battery and in my case I chose Battleborn and the PD 9160 AL for another $200 so just round it to 1500 to give you a ballpark price of what it'll cost you to convert and some people don't use this uh, monitor and so they have to plug in their converter to a toggle switch of some sort to turn it on and off because the converter puts out 14.6 volts continuously it doesn't shut off so you have to have something that'll tell it to shut off be it a toggle switch or the BMV 712 smart and so um, that's how it is and so hopefully I'll get the rest of the stuff I need to put this together next week or actually this week and uh, I'll show you the install and at that, that time I'll show you the one little part I left out to make all this work and so until then and again thank you so much uh, boat and RV accessories for trying to help me out I really appreciate it and thank you thank you progressive dynamics for explaining to me everything except for the wattage difference to set my head clear on that converter appreciate that and also Thank you for talking to me about the BMV 712 Smart. Battleborn, thank you for giving me a heads up on what to look forward to. <laughs> um, now thank you for your info. When I very first bought the battery, you told me about the converters and the differences. And I just had to learn a little bit deeper into it. And so I talked to the people that make it. Okay, so this is what I got. Hopefully, this can help you. Okay, so stay tuned. Guess what for? Update. What number? I've done one, two, three. What number update is it? If I'm not mistaken. It'll be the finale Oh yeah, I probably spelled that wrong Update Five Okay See you then. Have a great one Bye